What's up YouTube? I uh, thought it was long overdue that I do something here with my Blue Hill stove that uh, is so sweet that my buddy Sean over at the House of Fire 72 makes. And I've been seeing a lot of great videos on them recently. They're really spreading around and everybody's getting them and I uh, was definitely inspired to get mine out and try it. I'd rather use it in the woods and I'd rather make some tea when it's cold but thought I would come out and give it a whirl. You can see some air bubbles in the bottom there. I've been burning for about 10 minutes. This is a buddy burner and a cat food can which is cardboard wrapped up in a spiral and wax poured down all on top of it. And uh, it doesn't burn as quick as say my alcohol stoves but it does the trick. And um, I'll set you guys down here. But I've got some tea ready to go. Should have a boil here pretty soon. And, um, you know, guys, the House of Fire 72, he makes these stoves, and they're just awesome. They really have 101 uses. Um, this is, again, the Buddy Burner. It's in a cat food can, which is what he's designed these to fit. Um, you could just pour some alcohol in an empty cat food can and go for it. You can put a penny stove down in there. You could make a small hobo stove just about anything and then it actually stores on the outside of the cat food can when not in use um, it's got vents all the way around the side it's got a pot stand built in as you can see so basically uh, this is all you would need to cook a small meal in a shit hits the fan situation um, you're not going to need anything more than that with the cardboard it's not a smokeless fire like alcohol is uh, and the buddy burners aren't light, but this is about the best fire starter uh, you could get. You could have a downpour, and this thing would burn and continue to uh, to dry out some wood for you. They don't burn as hot as alcohol, obviously, and uh, they they're going to boil a lot more slowly. But it's functional, and um, his stove is absolutely doing the trick. I've had some decent gusts of wind, and uh, when the buddy burner wasn't going quite as well and it didn't blow it out the uh, vents around the side for oxygen are just big enough to uh, make it a windscreen that's completely functional but let and suck air in to uh, give you a nice cook but if you guys haven't subbed House of Fire 72 you definitely need to um, very innovative guy I mean these things are so cool and there's a lot of elaborate pot stands out there for the GI Canteen Cup and a lot of elaborate stoves that are just so complicated. And um, guys, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Sometimes something very simple is the best and the best way to go. And um, I always thought the fancy little small expensive camping stoves were so cool. And then uh, along with so many other things, getting on YouTube and finding do-it-yourself homemade versions of stuff you just can't beat it I mean the, the the water's now steaming I'm gonna have a boil soon really really cool this could be the dead of winter this could be in a, in a downpour of rain and I would be good to go um, got my light my fire titanium spork it's a spoon fork and then the edge of this part of the fork is actually serrated, uh, kind of like a butter knife, about like a butter knife. And it's really, it's really well designed. I love it. It's super light. Um, it came with sort of a rough finish from like here to here, if you can get that um, here to here, the two-tone color. It was sort of a, a, a rough texturing left there, almost like a sandpapery texture on the titanium and I didn't like that a bit so I've stonewashed this and I don't know if that's going to show up or not but if you see all the scratches and sparkles it came with a very just two-toned subdued finish and uh, that that uh, stonewashing also smoothed up the sandpapery texture it's, it's just buttery smooth now like steel or titanium would be and uh, I used my homemade uh, my homemade uh, tumbler to do it which is another YouTube do-it-yourself I think it was my third or fourth video my first few videos were all about that I mean just being able to make a stone washer at home and stone wash some old blades 
maybe they have scratches on them, maybe they have uh, just a finish that you don't like, and it'll make them look new again. I mean, it's really, really cool, but you basically just need like a water bottle and some, and some rocks and some oil, and you're good to go. So everybody has that at home already, most likely. Some smooth, round rocks. But i um, hoping you can see that steam rolling off of there now. There's, there's black and white smoke, but there's also steam. Pick you up again here. I get a good glare on my viewfinder here. I can't see what you guys can see, but I hope you're able to see that. It's just cooking really, really well. Blue Hill Stove. Rocking it out. Really sweet, man. That wax is just bubbling in there and boiling. Okay. Apologize for my security system going off. He's about a half-ass security system. If my female dog barks, somebody's outside. If my male dog barks, it could be a squirrel. But anyway, guys, this video is getting a little long. Nobody ever said the buddy burner burns as quickly as alcohol. But uh, I'm pretty darn close to a boil. I really hope you can see the steam rolling out of that thing. And um, I'm going to go ahead and steep my tea bag while I wait. Get it wet there. Hopefully it won't burn. Really cool, guys. You could use a sterno stove, a penny stove, a hobo stove, an esbit stove. Well, maybe not an esbit, but just about any freaking stove you can think of. You could uh, you could really get it going here with the Blue Hill. Completely functioning perfect, brother. And uh, this is a buddy burner that I made with cardboard. Like most of the demos show, uh, Sean, House of Fire 72, and I were talking, and maybe what would work is, is uh, something more natural, maybe pine cone, pine cone pieces. Probably still get a lot of soot, but at least it would smell like pine trees. Oh, yeah, getting some tea color now. It's looking good, guys. If uh, if you do this with candles from around the house, that's what it'll smell like as it burns. So I'm actually getting a mix of all kinds of different smelly candles. If you just save the candles you already buy and save the little bit at the bottom of wax that won't burn, get it out of there, remove the wicks, and uh, use a double boiler to heat it up and melt it, and then coil some cardboard up in a, in a cat food can, it should be the... Uh, the cooperated cardboard, the kind with the, the holes all through it, if you look at it from the side, and um, pour your pour your hot wax down on there, let it kind of settle for a second, pour hot, hot wax on there again, and you've got a buddy burner. So, pretty cool guys, pretty cool, Blue Hill Snow, kicking ass. This video is getting a little long. Like I said, I'm going to pick you up and show you what's going on one more time. Got wax dripping out the sides. I'm on a little bit of a slant there. This log's not perfectly level. And uh, you can see wax bubbling in there and boiling. And then on top here, hope you can see that. I can't tell what you can see. But I'm getting lots of bubbles. It's not a rolling boil, but it's a boil. And uh, we'll call it a day at that, but... Thanks again, brother. Sean House Fire 72. You the man, buddy. Awesome design. Awesome design. Can't wait to get out in the woods when it's cold and use this jewel. But uh, everybody have a good day. Everybody go sub him up. And uh, sub my channel too if you're a new viewer. Thanks for watching, guys.